Hey y'all, it's Lindsay from Chickadee Market and I am so excited for this season of our farm getting ready for baby goats. Today I am going to be doing an inside project. I'm inside the barn here because it's snowing outside. It is chilly in here, but I wanted to do an inside project. So what I'm gonna be doing is going through my box of stuff, medicines, all that kind of stuff that I have for the goats and separating out the stuff that we will need for kidding and putting that into its own bucket so that when it's time, I can just grab that bucket and take it out and have everything that I need. We got our goats last May for Wilhelmina's birthday. She seems to get everything for her birthday. The first year she got baby chicks and then last year we got goats. I wonder what we'll get this year. <laughs> this box of stuff actually came from the woman that we bought the goats from. Uh, we got all of our goats, all the, her whole herd. If you guys have experienced goat kidding before, and there's something that I don't list off in here that you thought was essential that you needed in your kidding box, please comment and share below with what you would add to my box. We have never kitted goats before. Like I've never had goats give birth here. So let's see what's in here. We've got dewormer. That's probably not gonna be in the kidding box. Probiotic paste. Yes, newborn. Okay, so probiotic paste. I'm going to put that in there. Disposable diapers. We're not going to be having goats in our house. I've already decided. So I will not need that. Blood stop powder. I won't need that yet. Uh, colostrum powder. I'm going to put that in the kidding bucket. Does this expire? Is it even open? Oh, it is. Okay, colostrum powder, just in case. Selenium gel, that will be helpful. I think I have another one in the house. Uh, Nutri Drench, that might be helpful. Aha, triodine for dipping umbilical cords. It's even labeled on there. That I will be keeping. What we got here? Something that kills Japanese beetles. I forgot what she told me that was for. If anyone knows what this is for, let me know. <laughs> yes, I have a tattooing kit. I won't need that right away, but I got a tattooing kit to tattoo their ears. Oh my gosh, I can barely feel my fingers. It's real cold in here, you guys. And I don't have my gloves on. <sighs> Lubricant. Not just for you. Oh yes, this is a pull ease, a lamb puller in case we have a baby that's stuck. Oh, a feeding tube in case we need to use a feeding tube. Disposable syringes. Oh my gosh, there are so many. I bought syringes. <laughs> Why did I buy syringes? Someone tell me. Plastic bag for junk. Well, that looks like a tiny bulb syringe. That might come in handy. So I think the only thing that I'm missing that I have in the house, I have, I bought a whole bunch of like really cheap towels. So I will be putting that in here um, cause I'll wanna lay that down underneath mama or have some on hand um in case we have multiples because it is cold and we'll need to get those babies dried off really fast i just want to know generally what do you keep in your kidding box because i don't want to go without something and i do have a little bit of time that i can purchase anything that i need to purchase i think i'm gonna have to get a heat lamp that's one thing i think i'm gonna buy is a heat lamp heat lamp so heat lamp molasses my towels are inside something super exciting I do want to show you that's inside let's go look I was really excited to wake up yesterday morning and I came down to check on my seedlings that we had planted a few days ago and look what's inside I am so excited so those are onion seedlings that we planted about six days ago and so they came up right on the five-day mark which is awesome I will link the video to starting those seeds down below in that video i've got links to where i got my seeds if you're curious about that and i'm so excited to watch more of these little guys sprout up thanks for joining me and happy planting